Greetings to all. A warm welcome to my new broadcast on one day praying with women of the Bible. And today we are with Deborah. And I will give her the name also, the nurse. This is your pastor, Yadi. People will come and go in your life. As you get older, experiences with individuals who pass through can either touch your life in a sweet or sore way. One woman particularly has touched my family's life in a sweet way. Some others had their own ways to give you a little more, a different way, like I say, a sore way. So, so come with me in the life of Deborah. Deborah was one such woman God sent to Rebecca. Her life was spent in servitude to Isaac's family. She was loved, and when passed, Isaac and Rebekah lamented Deborah, for she was held in great honor. Has her name symbol- symbolized be she was full of patience, hard work, love, diligence, and cared for the family God gave her. And Genesis 24, verse 59 reads, So they went away, Rebekah, their sister, and her nurse, Deborah, and Abraham's servant, and his man. As Rebekah's nurse, she accompanied her mistress to her new home following Abraham's servants. And when Jacob and Esau were born, You can imagine how lovingly Deborah would care for them as she had done for their mother. As the children grew, Rebekah did not cast this precious woman aside. Deborah remained in the family. She was part of a group of people who adored her and treasured her gifts and talents. For when she died at an advanced age, almost 100 years according to some writers, She was limited as one of the family and great honor was paid to her at death. Her name and the place of her burial are immortalized in the words Deborah, Rebecca's nurse, died and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak tree whose name Jacob called alone Bachut. The entire family was touched by her passing and all who had been the recipients of Deborah's faithful devotion wept for her as one of their own. Let us pray to the living God and confess the word. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord's peace. Thank you for your gentle spirit. Thank you for providing people with the gift of gentleness and refreshment for our souls. I pray to be the revival of another spirit of they are in need of a spiritual connection and your presence during difficult times. I pray to receive your spirit of gentleness, especially in a world where this is such hardness. For I know the yoke of Christ is easy. It is not hard, sharp, and pressing. Come to me. All who are weary and heavy lay burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest. For my yoke is easy to bear, and my burden is light. Matthew 11, verses 28 to 30. May I be 
a woman who offers renewal and blessed quite as a disciple of Christ. Help me love and serve those around me with a willing, diligent heart. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Deborah was loved. And stayed after she was gone, passed away. She stays as in a deep memorial to their lives. May your life also be a life of nursing, if I may use the word, for other souls. And the words of our Lord Jesus to us, Come to me, all who are weary and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus invites you to come when your life is heavy, burdened. And we can be that pressured person to one another. As I said in the beginning, people can give you life. A sweet way, but some can give you more a sore way. But reflect on yourself. What do you want to give? to the ones around you, to your loved ones, to your sisters and brothers in your church, in your community. Think about the life of Deborah, what she gave and how she remained. May God bless your heart and soul, my dear ones. Blessings to all of you. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye.